everyone. Uh, this is Leah back again with another steam activity for you. Last week we made uh, our own uh, watercolor paints out of baking soda and this week I'm going to show you some fun activities that you can do with watercolor paints. Um, if you don't have your own watercolor paints, again last week we did do an activity on how to make them with baking soda and I will also have a link in our caption that has um, a couple other options on how you can make your own watercolor paints. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can do with these paints. So for this activity, you'll need water, paper, I just used regular paper, printer paper, some crayons, whatever watercolors you have in a paintbrush, and something to put down on the table so you don't make a huge mess. So this is very simple. Go ahead and take a crayon. I'm using white, uh, but you can use any color. Uh, you can write and draw, do whatever you want with the crayons on your paper. And what this is going to do is it's actually going to create a resistant layer on the paper um, that the water is going to slide off of. So when we have some white, some hidden pictures on here, we're going to see what happens when we put the watercolor on top. Now that we've finished putting it on our crayon layer, we can go ahead and take some of our watercolor. This does work best with darker colors, but you can go ahead and experiment and see what maybe what color crayons look the best on what color watercolors. And we're going to see what happens when we put some of that water on there. And it looks like the, the letters just magically appear. Now I didn't really make my letters quite thick enough, so the thicker you make your crayon lines, um, the better it'll show up when you paint. But as you paint over your crayons, you'll, you'll see that the water is not sticking to where you've put your crayons. That's because when you put a crayon on paper, it actually creates a water resistant layer um, that prevents the water from soaking into the little microscopic crevices in your paper. And there you have it, a fun, simple little activity you can do with watercolors. Uh, if you end up doing a project like this, again, we would always love to see what you guys come up with. Feel free to share it with us on Facebook um, and keep coming back to Facebook. We'll have more activities every week, story times and other online programs. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Always again, remember, clean up when you're all done. Make sure you have space to work on another, another project. Thank you guys, have a great day.